guess, just to start, what was your inspiration for the build, man? So, Mod 07 is, is an iteration of, a, of an earlier project. Um, I'd worked with Parvum Systems several times in the past, and um, I'd done a build called Mod Zero Jabber for a good buddy of mine that was similar, but a, a complete custom one-off shape and design, but there were elements of it that I really liked. And uh, there were delays and delays and delays with getting that case made. And w when it came to cut it, they're like, look, anything you want, let us know. We'll, we'll hook you up. So I sort of put my hand up and said, um, can I have one then? And they cut, cut me a second. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I based that whole build around my keyboard. Uh, I'd just gotten these caps that I really liked for, uh, that were called Ashen. Uh, the, oh. the cap set was called Ashen. So I thought, right, well, I'll build a, I'll build a PC around my caps on my keyboard. So Why not? My desk. Why not? Yeah. So I did that, and that was fun, and it was air cooled to begin with, and it was water cooled, and elements of it I liked, elements of it I didn't. So I, um, I just sort of kept changing it out, and then um, this here is the uh, the R1 ITX case, okay. which was initially designed by JR23, the the, the, the big modder in the community, JR23, yep. Joe Roby, um, yep. and it was an exclusive for eight pack systems here in the UK for. Um, oh, that's right. right yeah. So, um, I had already had a relationship at that point with the guys at Parvum, but they wouldn't cut me one because it was an exclusive for those those boys. Yeah. Okay, so I was like, well, yep. you know, at some point you're gonna do it, and uh, it, it took a while, but I, 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 yeah, they cut one. So I already had <laughs> elements of it from from this Ashen build, like the the integrated the integrated reservoir and pump, um, yep. this idea of a pass through into the back channel to 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 route the cooling. Um, and a lot of the hardware was already here and and whatnot, so I I sort of took the elements from Ashen that I really liked and asked yep. them to do this R1 chassis and yeah put into this. So and, is your Ashen build on uh, Build CG as well? I believe yeah it is yeah I've 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 been trying to lead into uh, builds on GG because I think it's it's a brilliant platform now and it's yeah so, yeah. so, so that's... just done this so i've got a lot of old projects that i'm trying to update try to bring into for my sure. profile and i got a few in my back pocket that i kind of want to pull out for future mod of the month to be honest Dan. there you go no More dude i think do. uh a lot of you long time modders have been doing that that's i mean technically alessandro that month before you winner that was like his third time winning i think and yeah, really? yeah, yeah i don't know so I'm making a living off you boys <laughs> <laughs> right no I'm... It's been getting better now, but uh, that's actually a great question for you. How long have you been uh, modding or in the well, whole PC community deal? So under under the Mod Zero brand, it's it's got to be seven years. But, um, wow, I'm I'm 37 and I've been building PC since I was 14, 15. Sure. Um, so, you, so like from you got the quite a few years on your belt. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So I, I think my, my, I could never afford a PC, and back then, you know, pretty much you'd have to buy a system integrated, uh, you know, a machine from a system yeah. integrated. So, yeah, to build your own, um, yeah, you know, it was the back of newspapers. Uh, it was all printed. <laughs> yeah, trying to, trying to find your parts, and uh, uh, I think Alienware, when they were still an independent, they'd put out yep. this great product in the uh, Shift Tech Dragon chassis. Remember that thing? <clears throat> Oh my lord, that was years ago. That was old school, yeah. So I, I picked up one of them and I thought, well, I'm going to make myself a, uh, an alien way. You know, I can't buy one, so I'll make myself one. Yeah. So, uh, I did that, and that was in the day of you know parallel ATA cables and uh, before <laughs> braiding. Uh, it was all thermal tech, 80 millimeter fans were the thing. Um, oh my lord, yeah, I'm sure know, that was huge. Old school, yeah. No, but I mean, that's just it. That's kind of how I got into it, too. I mean, definitely a few years past you um definitely not before but i mean it was just because i couldn't afford like a super cool com computer so yeah. i had a computer and i started taking it apart and you know it. modding it again. With again. What, the, what i had so it's yeah, really I'd cool have, that i'd made a friend through uh, the game america's army i was part of a, a an australian community playing aa okay with them. Um, yeah and another member of the team was in florida uh, and he was able to like cherry pick CPUs out of out of like a, a production bin at a, like a Best Buy or something, I guess. Oh my lord! And he was sending me these, uh, you know, these AMD uh, eighteen hundred plus, sixteen hundred plus, yep. fourteen hundred plus chips. From the, you know, the good old single core ones that would overclock incredibly well. So that was sort of <laughs> the, 
that was you know the inspiration he would send me these samples and i'd send them yep. cash and it was all you know pre paypal and whatnot and just trying oh, to make man. something that would perform better than you could afford it was just all about just trying to have something that that's amazing great, perform great yeah i like that holy cow hmm so you've you really you've been, been in like, the game you've been into like uh building pcs forever but when did water cooling become a thing for you and how did it become a thing yeah so water cooling was um <laughs> I think I fell in love with water cooling the first time I saw the name um, Charles Harwood. I think I was checking out uh, milliondollarpc.com mm -hmm. yep. uh, and just looking at the, those machines and thinking, wow, <laughs> that's, is, is that what computers can look like? It, I've, I've got to do something like that and just aspire mm -hmm. to try and do something as good as the machines that mine was creating. Um, and they were all water cooled. And so. Um, I mean, it must have been around a similar time. I think what I'd done initially was, um, I mean, I still have the, oh, it's not a loft now. I, I, I still have it. I, I bought a, I bought a Mac Pro chassis off the internet uh, that came, it was slightly damaged. Um, I, yeah. I sent it away and had it re-sprayed in like a real deep uh, piano black varnish finish. Oh, wow. I, I, I did okay. some mod into it. I never even, I never finished the project, but it, I spent a lot of money on it. Um, mm. And at the time, the you know, is about the time that EK were on the scene, but it was still, um, it was still. I think they'd only put one or two CPU callers out. Yeah. Um, so that the players the early were, days. So the early market was uh, D Tech and Swift Tech, I think. So I had this, I had yep. this D Tech CPU block. Okay. I had, to, I had to buy fittings from like a plumbing store. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh you know, boy, and, yeah, I'm sure. And, and, and tubing was um, scientific. Tygon, Tygon tubing was. Yep. You know, the, the, you know, Tygon still half, great half. tubing. It's still yeah, great no, tubing. we it still sell it, tubing. but yeah, not yeah, so originally what it was for. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. So I, I I did this machine with a a, a thermal thermal chill PA one twenty point three radiator because they were they were yep. British made, uh, and they they sort of took one off the production line for me and. Uh, I gave it a go. I was absolutely petrified. The idea of <laughs> mixing coolant with uh, with this stuff, and that, you know, I was yeah. I think I was working at McDonald's at the time, and it was a case of still just trying to get money together to get yeah, to just stuff. to do it. Yeah, that was it. Very cool. That's amazing, man. I'm. I mean, technically, you were part of like the whole reason why it is what it is today. I mean, if you hadn't bought all those parts, I'm sure. It would have made a difference in the in the community, man. Because I mean, yeah. we definitely rely on longtime customers like you. So yeah, for sure. It's yeah, sure. So it's a shame we don't have you boys here in the UK. Yeah, over there. We we had That's we had something sure. similar that was great for a long time. E twenty two. They were yep. They were pretty fantastic, and um, yeah, we lost them. So yeah. I think we still have some of their cable combs, don't we? We do. I mean, and I believe yeah. we still have some of the tubing they, too. Yeah, Nate George, he pioneered a, a lot of this stuff that we take for granted. I, mean, I, I hadn't yeah. seen anybody do hardline tubing before him. Mm -hmm. I hadn't seen anyone use cable combs before him. Yeah. Um, and he yeah, just sort of sure. came in, did his thing, and now he's climbing trees or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. I mean, we're still Sorry, here. But... If Nate sees this, he's going to be upset. Sorry, man. <laughs> you're, you're a keen rock climber. Uh, Oh man! And that's he even awesome. mentions it on his website, so it's okay to point it out. It's one I think. Yeah, I, mean, I think, think it's his so, picture yeah. on his, uh, or it was his picture on his website at one time. That's amazing. <laughs> um, let's see what what will we do next? Let's see. I got one. Okay, what what was uh, the biggest challenge for this build? Like, uh, was it just getting the case in general? Was it? Uh, it's an yeah, ITX build, so I assume yeah. there's a few challenges in there yeah i mean when i look at charles harwood's work like his mods are so clean they look factory mm -hmm. stock like somebody yeah. yep. designed yeah. that and they churned out i he, love that he, he is doing that now with xformer isn't he like he, he yeah he produces these pieces mm -hmm. of art you, you can buy them. oh yeah but um you would never say oh that's been modded and i always <laughs> liked that aesthetic of trying to create something that looked really clean that it didn't look like it had been hacked up in a mod sense but yeah instead, had taken a Part product and then tried to emphasize certain parts of it, which is, I guess, why I've always really loved Parvum Systems. Um, at a time when they came onto the scene, case manufacturers weren't really focused on water cooling, um, so you weren't really getting options to, to 
mount radiators in in, in fan mounts because the spacing wasn't right between between fans and yeah um they came on the scene and were doing these cases that were made out of acrylic and they just sort of you know it was like meccano or lego or something it was just really simple just a, a bunch of these little mod cubes and you bolt it together and yeah um, i always liked that you were able to get this really clean aesthetic uh, from the off for a simple example um any case that's been pressed you, you you know you mount a motherboard on it and then you have all these grommets around it and all these stuff yeah it just yeah. and it looks dirty and you know, yeah you, i know you guys do the custom panels and whatnot that you can put these skirts almost you can yeah them, and, and it really makes a big clean effort but then yep. the part of them are doing these machines out of, out of these cases out of acrylic that just came out of the box looking that clean so i just sort of fell yep. in love with, with doing that so as far as challenges go um it's, it's great because it is ITX, because it is Parvum, any panel can come off and you can get in the angles that you otherwise couldn't. Yeah, that's very true. I guess yeah. I didn't think about that. I haven't worked in one before, so that it probably helped. Yeah, it, it does, certainly does help. But I think the in, the integrated rear panel is a you know, reservoir pump mount at, at the back here. Oh, okay. Um, that came off of my previous Ash End build, and then I had a bad situation with some coolant reacting poorly so the whole thing oh, had to come apart and i had to, oh, had to scrub, yeah, it, out. scrub it out yeah that's fun and the frustration there was i had to i had to separate the 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 two panels on on the yep on the res combo and um when i tied it back up again i went a little bit too tight and i felt the acrylic threads go on one of the screws yep uh and i thought well that's that's my day isn't it you know, uh, <laughs> that's Jeez. the end of it yeah, so I was so I, I pretty much had to uh, I changed out the screw. Uh, I think I just used something with slightly wider teeth, I guess, on the on the screw. Oh yeah, if you just switch like a coarse thread. And, and I, I worked it back in. I, I could see that the O-ring was getting compressed, and I thought, right, well, you. You know, don't take it apart that, again. Yeah, yeah, don't take it apart yeah. again. Yeah, that's yeah. It, so. never touch uh, it again. Yeah, and and when you get to this point where you know you've got the the back panel is connected to the mid panel with these pass throughs with the with the oh pressure, yeah. You know, um, you kind of have to sort of like get it all together in one go, you know, make sure it's all lined up nicely and, uh, and, and clip it in. It's a so puzzle. It was, it was, yeah. It's, I mean, it's a pain to to change any hardware, but I think most of these super modded um, builds are. It's, yeah, I was gonna say, um, like myself, I guess we we that's what we love doing, perhaps more so than using them or gaming on them. It's exactly you know, it's just part of the fun. In general, yeah. If it was easy, it wouldn't be that fun. Sure. So I guess I would say about, I mean, how long would you say you spent on it? I mean, was it a few months or did it take a year to do? I mean, no, aside it's... from getting the case, I guess. Yeah, so once <clears throat> once the case was in hand, um, <clears throat> I think I turned it around pretty quick. I think a big motivator with this one was I didn't have another machine at the time. So, oh, uh, yeah, that always helped. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, so my primary machine was in bits, uh, and I was using hardware to go into this one. So, uh, but at the same time, I just had my my second child, and like, just getting oh, no wow. sleep. There's no time at home. And, yeah. yeah, that's so tough. It'd be pretty. It'd be pretty I'm making so many mistakes. I was trying to braid cables, and then I'd be like, oh, I'd do it. <laughs> uh, so For it, sure. it took a while, and they, they do tend to take a while. But I, I said before, it's. It's a labor of love, I think. And um, no, so you actually did all the sleeving yourself for the build? Yeah, I sort of. I, wow. I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting all right at it. I'm, I'm pretty good at it. I, uh, I was very impressed with all the cables and everything myself. I mean, that's one thing I really, I've done a little bit, but I really don't care for it. So I've never taken the time. It's, it's hard work, and there are some fantastic companies now that are doing amazing yeah. sleeve yeah. cables. That's why I it's so tough. You're never gonna get the absolute correct length, the, the you know the, the right angles, and it changes depending on where the PSU place is, depending on whether yeah. it's on whatever you're connecting to, uh, training those, training the cables, training the wires. It's, oh yeah, exactly. It's but the boring, people that... it's boring, it burns your fingers. It's oh it's man, horrid, but um, I don't think you can beat it. And I think with this one, I was, yeah, I tried to do. Um, I'm not really into the whole RGB thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Fair um, enough. As, as in a like a rainbow sense, but I do think yeah, I was excited absolutely. when it came onto the market as a okay, great. Well, now I don't have to spend a certain amount of money on a blue yeah. fan and a red yeah. fan and a green yep. fan. Exactly, so, <clears throat> that was cool. So uh, when I built this, I didn't really know what color combo I wanted, so I wanted to make sure I built it quite neutral so that 
You can switch it. Colors are hovering pop, yeah. So that, the, yeah. Gray, it's all complete gray cables, uh, you know, black uh, external. I really like that. No, and like you said, uh, I think especially with the ITX builds, you you almost need to take the time to build the cables yourself because you have so little room to work with usually. Yeah. And just know. like you said, if you don't get the angles right, then you start twisting the cables up and just it, it doesn't really work right, <laughs> even if yeah. you have the right length. Yeah. So yeah. that that I would definitely say is a good challenge. So um, let's see. Does that? Yeah, I guess you did kind of touch on that. Does um, what in general? What kind of challenges does living in the UK lead to in modding for you? Because, like you said, some places have closed down. Um, is yeah, it tough sure. to get the tools or materials or? No, I, I don't think so. I think if uh, if anybody wanted to build a computer, there's absolutely everything you can need. Like, you know, it's a global market these days, isn't it? So. Uh, yep. Acquiring the parts and the tools and whatnot is is simple enough, and there's so many great, uh, you know, YouTube videos. There's, there's so much. Yeah, great very content. true. Um, yeah. I know that the fashion has moved away from build logs, but there are some brilliant ones out there. Just go read. I was gonna say, I've still. Yeah, I've always loved the build logs. I don't know I if, still do if them. everybody's I, I do still into them, them but yeah. I like build logs myself. But I, I like think seeing as far the as a, process. Yeah, yeah, I agree. As far as a challenge, I think. Um, there's certainly, I think, a bit of, I don't know, rub when it comes to trying to get support from bigger brands. Sure. Uh, being an English-speaking market, uh, North America, uh, you guys have bigger numbers, bigger budgets. The, the brands put more money in in, in that pocket. Um, That's so true. More I guess. Yeah. Have more modders, more builders, uh, your side of the pond. Um, I think if we were one of, if perhaps if I was a modder in one of the larger European countries um then you know that's it's a, it's, a, it's a different market isn't it and um i think they they have slightly larger budgets perhaps either that or they just they just don't <clears> like <throat> me but <laughs> <laughs> um, fair enough so, but I, I i've been it. very lucky i've been very fortunate you know, I, I i i've been building for a long time but in mm -hmm. only seven really years as, as mozir and that was more of a push from other modders in the community they were like you know joe sure. you should stick a name on this something. yeah and, and and do it and then reach out um and we'll work with you and it was e22 they were the oh, first wow. guys they were the first that... guys to um to reach out and they sent me mm -hmm. the hex gear chassis that was my first um, wow. zero branded like project no and actually yeah. that, that's a really good point to mention is how like you said your buddy told you why don't you just like make a name and i think a lot of people get caught up these days with like when they see somebody like you who yeah you've been at it for a number of years now and you've worked very hard to to be where you are now but it was one day just you decided to put a name on it and you kept doing your work and sharing it and yeah. i think if people if more people did that they could end up you know doing a lot like what have you you've done with yourself and i think that's pretty amazing yeah definitely Thanks. yeah great i mean so you said that i mean you mentioned charles quite a bit that you looked up to his builds but have you had actually any mentors, anybody that like really taught you how to water cool? <laughs> YouTube. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm yeah. gonna say no. Someone's gonna get upset. But um, I think you know, outside of outside of just seeing Charles's work, uh, as you mentioned, I I love the build logs. So I get yeah. excited when builders like Snef or Lep uh, yep. would start a new project, and then yeah. Um, you know, James Walt, you don't see him much, but he did some incredible stuff uh, and sort of jumping in this, and seeing how other people approach the same space and, yeah. and their own style. Um, I think you know, Alex Banks now with, with BitTech, yep. that guy mm -hmm. is just sort of raising the game every time he every time he turns a camera on. Yeah, pretty much. Doing, Most definitely. Just, I mean, he's he's a, a, a brilliant talent. Um, a personal, uh, like a my my favorite modder, somebody I aspire to, I guess, outside of Charles, is Joe Roby, JR23. Yep. Uh, he is unforgiving with just he he reaches for the same. I don't know, everything he builds is just so clean. It's absolutely yeah. clean, and he doesn't I know agree. what the fashions are or, or what people are into. He just does his thing, and his cables mm -hmm. are amazing. His design's amazing. The way his brain works. I mean, he's doing incredible stuff now over at EK. It's uh, absolutely. I'd love to see him knock out some more builds because you know 
yeah, he designed this case and designed yeah, it exactly. Back. You know, I just kind of do what he's hard done. not to love. No, <laughs> yeah, sure. There you go. I like that. Great answer, man. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's see. I don't know. It's hmm, yeah, I mean, I'm good pretty sure he's covered there. quite a bit, like just by yeah. asking. I guess. I guess one uh, one of the good ones is: Did you have like any big like WTF moments where you know? Just a wrench flew out of nowhere and interrupted your ideas. Um, no, no. <laughs> well, there I mean, we go. I, uh, you know, other than this, the screw, you know, I, I for oh, a moment that's I was. True. Yeah, you did mention yeah, that. Yeah, like I was, that's... I was pretty worried there for a minute, and I think that was first, very actually, close time, to being a red. Yeah, the first time I'd uh, I'd finished bleeding the loop and I'd reattached all my cables, plugged it in, turned it on, and uh, it didn't do anything. In fact, it went click click and then turned off. Uh, oh. uh, so I unplugged it and I looked at it and I was like, "This, there's no way." There's no way. <laughs> and I knew I'd been tired a lot when I did the cable. Yeah. The cable, and I thought, oh, "There's no way. I'm not doing it again. I'm, I'm no way." So I plugged it all back in again and I, 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 I turned it on. Click, click. It went off. I was like, "Oh, frustrated." Um, I sent a message to, to Joe Roby and mm -hmm. uh, he does, he's. I, I'm lucky enough to have Silverstone as, as a as a sponsor, and they'd send me oh, the, sure. the power supplies and whatnot. And, Joe works with um, Silverstone's a lot too, so I sort of I recorded it, sent him a video on WhatsApp, and he was like, "Yeah, you've crossed over these two wires." I'm like, what? Oh wow! I, you know, I he just, just knew. He just knew. So wow! After that, I was like, "Oh my, the man's incredible." So I just I did that, and that's uh, amazing. So, you know, that's awesome. It's a credit yeah. to having good friends in the People in the have business been there and, done that and can tell you the issues. Yeah, I know. Just told you right away. That's so yeah. cool. Okay, I guess we have one last one. <laughs> for you and that is what are you planning to use your prize for i think finally today you might have gotten it all i did yeah, yeah thank you very much today. i was absolutely delighted yep. to, to win i mean I, like i said i've been doing this for a while and i've i've I, you know i've come second a few times i've come third a few times but i never yep. really won anything um sure. so that was that was great and i think just for a moment um it's brilliant to see you guys supporting build.gg it's, it's a brilliant platform um and this competition is, you know, these are the real prizes. This is, you know, 500 bucks is not to be sniffed at, you know. And, and, I was going to say, it's, and, hopefully and, it's and something. A loop, yeah, a loop this, these days, you know, costs, costs a lot of money. So having that yeah. that, e, that EK sure. cash is great. And, um, yep. uh, yeah, and you guys stock some brilliant products. So it's, <clears> I was I was delighted to have won. But um, I'm, like many other people, I'm, I'm trying to get my hands on a, on a 3000 series GPU. Aren't we all? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, all, yeah. And I yeah. just missed out on Friday. It's as well, almost right? like money won't even buy those these days. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's a tough it's, situation. So that's it. So I think I'm, I'm putting that towards um, getting myself an Ampere card. And uh, I was, you know, searching through your site looking for something that I that I really wanted to get into. And a few other guys have been building in um, in the Sly. It's Sliger, right? That's how I'm, I'm saying it, right? Yes, yeah, Sliger. Sliger. Yeah, I so these, so. these yep. Sliger chassis. Uh, and I, I, I wanted one, so I, I think I'd asked you guys if you could facilitate that. And then I actually yep. reached out to them and said, "Hey, look, this is me. This is what I do. Um, here's some of my previous works, some of my, my build logs, um, my you know Instagram, Facebook." Uh, I, and then I sort of pitched them this idea of, of uh, another project, which was completely air cooled, uh, a mid range build, something that would sit next to a PS5 or an Xbox One Series X, but was absolutely a PC through and through. So. Um, sure, they're, they're sending me over one of their chassis and uh, amazing. I'm, Sweet, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this thing with Noctua and Silverstone and Gigabyte and uh, wow, and Slag, no, I'll definitely keep my eye on it. I really like. Uh, I haven't been able to work in a Slager case yet, but I think they're doing cool things. Yeah, they they I want to really, see uh, more builds with it them. Seems they seems like they they're primed really well to sort of perhaps. Um, yeah, that market from from yeah. Case Labs now that those boys unfortunately. Yeah, I was gonna say, and it's even just more in a general affordable range. So like, it's it's in an essence Case Labs, but it's more for the general people. I, I mean, don't know. They're nailing this tiny form factor, right? So that you know, yeah, two hundred and eighty bucks for a tiny case is still a lot of money. Yeah. I um, yeah, true, but I mean they, they have a broad range. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do some pretty, they pretty, some pretty cool stuff. So I'm looking forward to doing a couple of air, air cool builds, and uh, I've never done a scratch build, uh, and I was, I've been oh, recently inspired enough. to do a, to do a full to, scratch to try build, to so. do. Yeah. Okay. So well, fusion. definitely, definitely share more pictures in the build. You're in the Facebook group, so share more there. Um, can people find you on like YouTube or, of course, Build CG? Uh, but where else are you? 
Yeah, so I'm Instagram at forward slash mod zero underscore customs, and I think I'm okay. mod zero underscore mods on, on Facebook. I think I'll probably look at doing a site and whatnot. Sure. In, perhaps next year, but you know, I'm doing okay. one or two builds a year probably, in, uh, and I just do it because I love it. That's, no, that's just it. I'll, I'll uh, make sure I link everything below. I might send you an email to make sure you, or I'll, I'll get it right if I send you an email and uh, copy paste. So 